Today, we are staring down a top 10 matchup as we get to head to Tuscaloosa and take on the 8-2 Alabama Crimson Tide. In our last game, our offense absolutely exploded. And I say our offense, but mostly it was our quarterback, Heath Hayes, accounting for seven total touchdowns and our receiver, Matt Stevens, catching four of those. But now we get to face probably one of the best teams in the country in Alabama, led by a 92 overall wide receiver in Derek Fontaine, another 92 overall receiver in Jason Davis, a 92 overall safety, a 91 overall running back, a third receiver over 90 overall, but he seems to actually be injured. And then their quarterback is an 85 overall in Ernest McFarland. This game will end up playing a massive role in the college football playoff standings considering we are getting real close to the end of the season. This should end up being a really tough test for the defending national champion South City Triceratops, but let's go ahead and jump into today's game. The Triceratops will get the ball first as they send it deep to Tyler Anderson and we're just going to take this one as a touchback. So obviously that means we will begin at our own 25 yard line in a shotgun formation. It will be an option play and Hayes is hit in the backfield for a loss of four. It seems Alabama was ready for us to start with our best weapon in Keith Hayes. Now on second and 14, Hayes will drop back to pass. A quick throw caught by Watkins and he will get met and brought down to set up a third and three. Looking to convert and avoid the three and out to start the game. Hayes will take the snap out of shotgun. We'll fire this over the middle, caught by Stevens, but it's knocked out of his hands and we will end up punting this one away. McFarlane comes out in shotgun. He'll take the snap, it's gonna be a read option. He goes to the outside and he will begin today's game with a seven yard carry. Now on a second and three, he lines up in pistol. McFarlane will take the step, handoff to his running back, and he goes up the middle for a four-yard gain and the first down. Now in South City territory, he lines up under center. They give it to the running back again, who goes to the outside. He's breaking, breaking tackles, if I can talk, but he gets a 12-yard gain and the first down. Now the Crimson Tide come out in a pistol set. He'll take the snap, it's another option to the outside. He'll break that tackle from Kellen Rice, but can't break the next one, just a three-yard run. That brings up a second and seven, another pistol set for Alabama. McFarlane will drop back to pass. He's going over the middle. That's a one-handed grab by Jason Davis for a 19-yard gain. That was their first pass attempt of the day. Now McFarlane comes out in a pistol set again. And they'll go back to the running back. This time it's Calhoun who goes up the middle and he gets a seven-yard carry. Now on a second and three from the five-yard line, they go back to the running back again. And right up the middle, there was nobody there. Touchdown, Alabama. And a quick studio update. After defeating number one Illinois last week, Michigan has fallen to unranked Purdue. Now turning our focus back to our game, but obviously that is a massive loss for Michigan. But first and 10 from our own 22. We'll start with a read option. We'll give it to Overrocker who goes up the middle and he will start this drive with an eight yard carry. That will bring up a second and two for the South City offense. Hayes back in shotgun. We go back to Overrocker again to the outside. He has the first down for a four yard carry. The Triceratops now come out under center. Hayes will take the snap, run a play action to Overrocker. Looking to go downfield, trying to escape the pressure. Finally, Will launches one deep, but misses everybody. That sets up a second and 10. Hayes out of shotgun, will drop back to pass. Once again, rolling to the outside. And this time, we're just going to take off with the quarterback. He cuts back to the inside, has the first down, and is brought down for a 13-yard carry. Now we come out with three running backs in the backfield. We'll take the snap, and we'll give this one to Tyler Anderson, who goes to the outside and gets an 8-yard carry. Now a second and two, and Overrocker is in the backfield. That's where we're going to go with it, to the outside, but he is hit in the backfield to set up a third and five. Now Hayes back in shotgun again. Tyler Anderson is checked into the game. He will look to pass. Rolling to the outside again. We're finally going to throw this one downfield. It's caught by Matt Stevens, and he is brought down for a 20-yard reception. Now on first down, back in pistol. We will take the snap and hand off to Overrocker, but the blocking failed immediately, and he's hit for a loss of three this time. That will set up a second and 13 now. Hayes back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and a quick pass to the outside will be caught by Watkins who was brought down near the five yard line, a 24 yard reception. Now we come out on first and goal with Josh Coleman and Tyler Anderson in the backfield. We'll take the snap. It's an option to the outside, but Hayes is met in the backfield for a loss of four. Alabama's defensive line is apparently not playing around today. Now a second and goal. We'll take the snap and look to pass. And not seeing anyone come open. He'll escape from the first set of pressure. Now trying to get to the edge. And Hayes will get brought down for a two-yard run to set up a third and goal. But now quarterback Heath Hayes is injured. So that will bring in backup quarterback Josh Coleman. He comes out in a pistol set. He'll drop back to pass on his first play of the game. He goes to the end zone to a wide open Adam Watkins. Touchdown, South City. Alabama will now start their next drive at their own 28-yard line. 
McFarlane will send McLaughlin in motion. He lines up in the backfield as a play action. Now going to go downfield, standing in the pocket, has all day to throw. Still no pressure whatsoever, finally lobs it to the outside and it falls incomplete. On the next play from under center, he's under pressure, breaks away from the sack and he'll get brought down for a two yard scramble. That play would wrap up the first quarter of this game. So now it's a third and eight from their own 30 to start the second. McFarlane will drop back to pass. It's a screen to the outside, but the blocking doesn't set up and he's brought down and they will punt it away. And quarterback Keith Hayes will now check back into the game. We're going to start his return with a handoff to Overrocker up the middle for a five yard gain. Now a second and five. Hayes back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. Run a play action to Overrocker. Now he's going to look to go deep downfield. That one will be caught by Stevens, but it's knocked out of his hands. Third down. That sets up a third and five. Hayes will line up under center. He drops back to pass. A quick throw to the outside will be deflected away from Adam Watkins, and now South City will punt it away. They would start this drive at about their own 13-yard line. They would begin it with a three-yard pass. So now it's a second and seven. McFarland back in shotgun with a quick throw. Caught by Perry over the middle. He's got the first down for a gain of 10. On the next play, they would get a four-yard carry from their running back. I think it's pronounced Samoye, but I could be wrong. But now a second and six from the 30. And McFarland's going to send his tight end in motion. He'll take the snap and look to pass again. A quick throw to the outside, and that's going to count as a fumble. It's recovered by Alabama, but that's going to be a loss of 10. Now a third and 16. McFarland will drop back to the pass. Looking to go downfield. He finally will find a man wide open. Jason Davis has the first down into South City territory. A 37-yard play. Not getting any pressure on the quarterback is not going to work. Now a new set of downs. He lines up under center. Samoye lined up at running back. McFarlane will drop back to the pass. Looking to go deep downfield. I think everybody got sent deep. And now he finally throwing caught by Perry. And he'll be met and brought down inside the 20 for a gain of 32. McFarlane now lining up under center. They'll come out, give it to the running back to the outside, and we finally get off a block, and that's a loss of three. Following that loss in the backfield, they would get a four-yard run. So now it's a third and nine. It's going to be a screen to the outside. It's caught by Calhoun, who gets to the edge, runs over a player, still on his feet, but he will fall down just shy of the marker. But Alabama is not going to settle for a field goal try. They are going to go for this fourth and one. McFarlane back in shotgun. Samoye is the running back. They give it to him to the edge, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. They retake the lead, this time 14-7. A pretty solid return from Tyler Anderson. Sets us up at our own 30-yard line for the next drive. We'll come out in shotgun. It's a read option, and I read that wrong, but both players got hit in the backfield. That goes for a loss of four. They are not allowing us to run the ball very well. Second and 14. We'll send Overrocker in motion. Hayes takes the snap. And rolls out to the outside. They're blitzing a corner. He throws on the run. That was caught by Overrocker. He's got the first down. And there is a flag down. I'm pretty sure Overrocker ran out of bounds and came back in. And that's exactly what he did. So that will now set up a third and 19 for South City. Hayes will drop back. Everybody going deep. We're going to go deep down the right side for Donald Johnson, who will make the catch. Has the first down and is forced out of the Alabama 30-yard line for a 49-yard play. Now a first and 10 with Tyler Anderson and Josh Coleman in the backfield. We'll take the snap. It's an option to the outside, and Hayes keeps himself. This time it was the right decision. He gets a nine-yard run. That now sets up a second and one, and Adam Watkins is lined up at running back. But Hayes will take the snap and roll to the outside. We'll throw this one on the run downfield. Caught by Josh Bain. He's down about the five-yard line. Now a first and goal. Overrocker is checked back into the game. We do give it to Jack Overrocker. He goes up the middle and will be brought down about the one-yard line. Now Keith Hayes lines up under center for a second and goal. He'll take the snap and a quick throw to the outside into the end zone. Touchdown to Seth Avery and we'll tie this game up with about 30 seconds to go before halftime. Following that kickoff, Alabama does have 25 seconds and all three timeouts left here in the first half. McFarland back in shotgun. Will drop back to pass. It's a screen to the outside. Caught by Samoye to the edge and he'll stiff arm one guy but get brought down for a five-yard gain and they burn their first timeout. Let's see if they try to push the ball downfield now. McFarlane out of shotgun, will drop back to pass. A quick throw caught by Gunn, and he gets leveled on the play, and they burn that second timeout. Now 14 seconds and one timeout. They come out with a five-wide set. I imagine this ball is going to be going deep. McFarlane will take the snap. It's actually a quick screen to Davis on the outside. He'll get the first down and get brought down for a gain of six here. But they have not burned that final timeout just yet. They're running a no-huddle offense. Five seconds to go. They may not get a chance to burn that final timeout. McFarlane will drop back. A quick throw to the outside caught by Fontaine, and that one will actually take us into halftime. 
Now Alabama does get the ball to start the second half. They get to begin at their own 19-yard line with a first and 10. McFarland back in shotgun will drop back to pass again. He's rolling to the outside. Now lobbing this one downfield. That one will be intercepted by Brian Edwards on the first play of the half. We will take over at the Alabama 45-yard line. An incredibly risky throw does not pay off. So now first and 10. Hayes comes out and we'll run the option play to the outside. And Hayes will start this half with an eight yard carry. That will set up a second and two for South City. Hayes out of shotgun will drop back to pass. And we're going to fire this one downfield. And that one was incredibly dumb by me. It gets picked off. And now Alabama will get to take back over. I don't know why I tried to force that one over the middle. That was an incredibly dumb throw by me. I cannot believe I made that decision. Now first and 10. McFarland comes out in a pistol set. He'll take the snap, hand up to Samoye up the middle, but he'll get met and brought down by Kellen Rice for no gain. Now a second and 10. McFarland back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap and this time look to pass. It's a screen to the outside, caught by Samoye, who cuts up the sideline. He has the first down into South City territory. At the SCU 47-yard line, McFarland out of shotgun will drop back to pass. Looking to go deep downfield, finally under pressure, but has a man wide open in John Powers for a 36-yard gain. Now from about the 11-yard line, McFarland will drop back to pass. He's under pressure, getting sacked on the play, and luckily they call that incomplete. Well, luckily for Alabama. To me, that looked real close to being a fumble. Now second and 10, McFarland with a quick throw, caught by Gunn, and he'll get brought down for a 7-yard play. Now we did stop them on a third down earlier down here, but they went for it and got a touchdown on fourth and one, so obviously they are willing to go for it. On third and three, McFarland will drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside, caught by Shaw, and he'll get brought down to set up a fourth and two. But just like earlier, they are willing to go for it here. On fourth and two, McFarland back in shotgun, will drop back to pass. Looking to go to the end zone, a quick throw with a wide open John Powers, touchdown Alabama. Once again, down by seven, the South City offense will take the field, this time from their own 25-yard line following a touchback. A quick throw caught by Watkins, who will break that tackle and end up with a four-yard gain to start this drive. Now we come out in shotgun again. We'll take the snap as a counterplay out to Overrocker, who gets to the edge, tries to cut back, and is brought down for a three-yard play to set up a third and three. Looking at a possible three and out here, Hayes is back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. And we'll throw this one on the run, caught by Stevens, but it's knocked out of his hands. On fourth and three, we will punt it away. The punt would only get returned to the 35-yard line, but as you can see, they're at the 50, and that's because Isaiah Sims decided to bring him down by his face mask. So now first and 10. McFarlane going to the sideline, caught by Shaw. He's got the first down all the way to the 25. An eight-yard pass on the next play sets up a second and two for Alabama. Now inside the 20-yard line. McFarland with Samoya in the backfield. That's where they go with it. Up the middle, he's met immediately, but fights for the first down and a bit more for a nine-yard run. Now a first and goal. He comes out in pistol. From about the eight-yard line, McFarland will drop back to pass. A quick throw caught by Perry. He breaks one tackle, but now they're down inside the five. They come out in shotgun for the second and goal. He'll take the snap, hand up to Samoye, who goes up the middle, but won't find any space. Now a third and goal. Making that hit in the backfield was star linebacker Kellen Rice, but now a third and goal from the five-yard line. They go back to Samoye up the middle. He stiff arms Kellen Rice, but won't get into the end zone. Now a fourth and goal. But once again, they are not going to settle for a field goal. They come out to go for it here on fourth down. He will line up under center. Calhoun is the running back. He's under quick pressure, a quick throw of the end zone, and a quick touchdown by Alabama. Now down by two scores from our own 25-yard line. Hayes will take the snap and look to pass. We're going deep down the left side, and that one's going to get intercepted. I tried to take control of the receiver, and it obviously did not work. And now Alabama's going to have great field position. I got way too aggressive. A chance to make this a three-score game here in the third quarter. McFarland takes a step, hands up to Samoye, who goes up the middle, and he will start this drive with a 10-yard run. McFarland will take the snap, a quick throw to the outside, caught by his man, and he will get brought down about the 10-yard line for a six-yard play. About a minute 40 to go here in the third quarter. It's a handoff to Samoye, who is met in the backfield by Maurice West for a loss of two. We are not completely dead in this game yet, but a three touchdown deficit will be pretty hard to overcome. Second and 12, a quick throw caught by Gunn and he will have the first down. First and goal, Alabama. Samoye is the running back. He sends Davis in motion. He drops back to pass. A quick throw to the back of the end zone. Touchdown to Rob Davis and they will make it 35 to 14. Down by three touchdowns now with 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. Hayes comes out, we'll run a play action. Looking to go downfield, we're finally going to throw this one to Matt Stevens, who will make the catch into Alabama territory. 
South City might be looking to score and score quickly just to try to get some momentum back on their side. We'll run the play action over Rocker. Now roll out to the outside. We'll throw this one on the run. Caught by Avery. That's going to be no gain. Now on a second and 10. Hayes is back in shotgun. He'll take the snap and drop back to pass. We'll throw this one to the outside, and that's just dropped by Overrocker. Now with 13 seconds to go here in the third quarter, we'll take the snap and a quick throw down the sideline, and how about another interception trying to force that one to our playmaker Matt Stevens, and Alabama will take over yet again. This might be the worst offensive performance I have played in a long time. Six seconds to go here in the third quarter. They take the snap. It's a hand up to Calhoun. He'll go to the outside, and that will take us into the final quarter of this game. A second and seven to start the final quarter of this game. The defense looking for a big spark here. McFarland's going to get sacked on the play by Maurice West. That sets up a third and 11. Can we force a punt? McFarland will drop back to pass. Going downfield, a wide open man. And he's off to the races inside the 15-10-5. Touchdown, Alabama, from 65 yards out. We would begin this drive with a five-yard run from Overrocker, so now it's a second and five. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back a quick throw. will be caught by Overrocker. Makes that man miss. Now to the outside. He'll get brought down about the 40-yard line. A 10-yard gain. An incomplete pass on the next play leads to a second and 10. Hayes back in pistol. We'll take the snap and look to pass. Rolling to the outside. We're just going to take off with our quarterback here. He's got the first down. Trying to juke out some players and will be brought down for a 17-yard scramble. Now back in a pistol set, we'll take the snap and drop back to the pass again. And Hayes is once again going to look to run. He'll have another first down and try to juke out another player and get brought down near the 25-yard line. We come back in shotgun again. Hayes will take the snap and a quick throw down the sideline caught by Watkins. And he is leveled down about the 5-yard line, a gain of 22 on the play. Now South City out in a shotgun formation. We'll take the snap. It's a read option to the outside, and Hayes will get hit in the backfield. A loss of one. Now a second and goal. Back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap, and a quick throw to the end zone, but he misses everybody. Now on a third and goal. We'll take the snap. A quick throw to the end zone. It's going to be dropped by Josh Bain, because what else can go wrong today? Down by four touchdowns. Let's just see if we can convert this to get some garbage time points. Hayes will take the snap. And a quick throw to the end zone is caught by Donald Johnson. Touchdown, South City. So we at least don't get completely shut out here in the second half. First and 10 with about four minutes to play here in the game. McFarland will take the snap. Hand off to Samoye to the outside. And he's got a big run here into South City territory up the sideline. Forced out of the 35-yard line. A two-yard run on the next play sets up a second and eight. McFarland back in shotgun. They go back to Calhoun to the outside, and Calhoun will have a first down run inside the 20 before he is finally met and brought down for a 21-yard carry. Just a couple plays later, it's a third and one from about the four-yard line. McFarland to the end zone, and that one will fall incomplete. Will they finally settle for a field goal? It looks like they will just settle for a field goal, and it is good, making it 45-21. to with just over two minutes to go, let's see if we can't get some garbage time stats here. A quick throw will be caught by Stevens over the middle, and he'll get brought down for a gain of 21. Good to see I finally remembered how to run the offense. Unfortunately, it took until we were down by a lot. Now of a five-wide set, we'll drop back to the pass, roll into the outside, and we'll finally let this one go deep down the sideline, and that's going to be another interception. Maybe I didn't know how to run the offense. A third and eight on the final play of the game. They hand it to Samoye, who will bounce it to the outside. He has the blocking. Now Samoye down the sideline will get met and finally brought down for a gain of 29, and that will officially end this game. Clearly, Alabama came into this game with a message for the rest of the country, and it was to punch South City in the mouth, and we never fully recovered. I played absolutely awful on offense, throwing four interceptions, and literally all of them were just horrible decisions by me. We now fall to 8-2. and two. We have two games left on the season, and hopefully we don't fall too far in the top 25. The final stats for Heisman hopeful quarterback Keith Hayes, he goes 13 of 26, 211 yards, two touchdowns, and four interceptions. I imagine he will take a small hit on the Heisman watch list. Running the ball, Hayes ran for 52 yards. Overrocker, 26 yards on eight carries. We really could not run the ball at all. Adam Watkins got a touchdown, and Seth Avery got a touchdown, along with Donald Johnson. Leading our team in tackles was Kellen Rice, who came away with 12. We got one sack from Maurice West and one interception from Brian Edwards. Alabama's quarterback, Ernest McFarlane, absolutely torched us. 25 of 30, 335 yards and four touchdowns on the ground. The running back, Demorne Samoye, I'm probably butchering that name. Either way, 127 yards and two scores, receiving... 
Perry got a touchdown, Gunn got a touchdown, and Powers got a touchdown. And obviously there are some massive shakeups here in the college football playoff rankings. Pittsburgh is now number one, Texas is now number two, Illinois is all the way back up to three, Alabama moves to four, we fall all the way to nine, and it looks like Michigan has fallen all the way to 12. So of the playoffs we're still after this game, they would be in, but just barely. And shockingly, Keith Hayes is still the Heisman favorite despite a four interception performance. But now looking at the next game on our schedule, it is another road trip to a pretty tough team as we head to Baton Rouge to take on the number 23 ranked LSU Tigers.